Hello everyone, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage and again we're back to the RC Creighton from the garbage that we got and if you remember we did the Aksaka improvement inside uh, we put fan, we clean all the oils and then we blow up the tires so instead of those tires from Arma we're gonna put those um, Striker MT and those are pretty big, you see it like near it, it's pretty big it's going to make the vehicle much, much nicer and we'll have better grip. So for this, let's do it real quick. You need one of those big wrenches. Open this thing up. Let's pop this thing out and show you the difference. So this is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit wider. Um, it's going to be like, I don't think it's going to be touching. But it's have the offset, so the offset is like about right there. So it should be good. Let's plug it in and see what happened. Now, before I plug it in, I'm trying to check everything here. Everything looks pretty nice, nothing broken, nothing loose. After we clean everything, everything stays actually pretty much clean. Uh, it's fit pretty good. And when we lift it, it's not really touching anything. So this is gonna be perfect. Now what we have to do is close it back. We have to start this by hand. It's already look like amazing. Let's close this thing out. Ooh -wee. Look at this. This look so much better right now. So let's grab the other one. So consider that this someone threw it away um, it was in a bad condition but it still could stand all the abuse that we throw it at so it just show like how good those vehicles are a lot of people like to compare our mind saying that Traxxas is better Traxxas is not better and you can clearly see like how much abuse this thing can take and it still uh, hold pretty nice uh, this thing still it's a little bit dirty but other than that everything else look pretty good on it um the shocks are a little bit faded but uh the color of the shock don't give you any performance i'm not really worried about that again the wheel fit inside without touching anything and then watch the video all the way to the end because i have another thing to show you what we're going to do on top of it that is actually really cool now when you put those there is grooves you want to put it where the grooves are so it's not going to actually uh, fly out it's a very very important thing to do so let's close this it's easier to turn the wheel than try to turn the ratchet actually okay so look at this already it looks so much better with those big monster tires so let me put the rest and we're going to continue okay we got two more for the other sides let's put those real quick Now, so we have a body that we made for this car that I'm going to show how to paint. So you guys really want to stay tuned and follow these videos to see actually how we're going to do the airbrushing and painting on it. So don't miss this thing out. Okay, last one. And again, everything here looks pretty good. I'm 
Okay, look at this monster now. It looks so much better. So much, so much better. Okay, now let me show you what we start doing on it. Let me go grab it. Okay, so we had the red body on the floor over here, this guy, and it's kind of beat up. So what I'm gonna do instead, I start uh, masking for paint, a new body for it. And on top of the body, I'm gonna put the sliders that I 3D printed for it. And this thing already looked beautiful. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and share so you can see the continuation of this. How we took something like literally someone threw away and make something good out of it. So you hope so all of you guys learn never to throw away your cars. If something breaks, you just fix it. You don't put it in the trash. Uh, see you in my next video. This is Eric at RC Monster Garage. And I will show how to do all this paint job that we're doing here. I already set up all the masking on it. And I have a video for that. And see you in my next video. Bye.